Welcome back guys to Crypto for Life channel. Today we would like to talk about XTZ, Tazus, targets for the bull run with my custom indicator set. Let's dive in. First of all guys, what do you have to know? It's a really, really old coin and here's a chart on uh, Gateo. It's weird because look at this huge weekly candle. At the top on Gateo, it was uh, around 300 uh, per coin. But it's December 17. Uh, and you have to know it's not an oldest chart. That's why we will not analyze today on a Gateo. Here we go into Coinbase. The first time I found the oldest chart on a Coinbase here from October 17. So this is a October and this is a, the same uh, weekly candle like on a Gateo here. But I don't know what the difference and why so big difference. Uh, here's the top was $12. And on Gateo, it's 300. So it's kind of weird. I use the fee from all time high in December 17. One more example, one more coin is showing you not every single coin and the next, next, next cycles will hit new all time high. Here's a all time high in December 17, end of bull run. Here's a, a May, April, May 2021 and the double top on a Bitcoin, October, November 2021. Not new all time high, just a high. And the correction to 61 level feet. So basically, this feet can be legit. Here's a top, here's a support, first stop, then sweep and bounce. And based on this feet, we came in to 27 zone and the forming the historical lower low in December 2018, around 31 cent. And you can see the magic. We formed the lower low. And this low, it's exactly around 50% of this range between 18 and 27. That's why 27 zone can work perfectly well for investment and distribution zones here. Uh, 34 cents was uh, 0 0.5 level by FIB. So this is how it works. And uh, if we take a look here as a bounce from 18 level by FIB, so this uh, every single time this level is legit and the pay attention like uh, support or rejection, we drop it down, bounce, and test it in October 19, then we get a flash crash, COVID dump. So imagine we growing up here 200% uh, and then on the COVID dump, flash crash uh, just uh, in two, in three weeks, 74%. So basically now, if we will see the black swan, some crazy black swan, because we traded here from December 2022, we traded around 27 zones. So if we will see the flash crash, we can drop and sweep this low, historical low, something like this one. It can be around 64% uh, drop. Of course, we can drop even to 27 level at few zeros, you know, for Tesla's, but I hope not. I hope not. So uh, conservative bearish targets, if we'll just go and sweep this low. The lowest point was in October 2023, 61 cent. So the most bearish scenario, conservative bearish scenario, if we'll just form a new low like this one and bounce. Something like this one, it will be good. Flash crash, if we'll see some black swan, you know, we can form in the new historical lower low. If we take a look on uh, metrics, so uh, I opened today the three sources, so it's going to be the drop step, coin gecko and uh, coin market cap. Uh, also, I would like to show you the cool feature now. Uh, I never saw it before. So here uh, on uh, coin gecko and uh, coin market cap, they add this feature supported wallets. So if you analyze some uh, coin, you can find out which wallets support this token. So it's really, really useful. So uh, take a look on uh, maximum supply, it's infinity. Uh, this one reason why I don't like the coins with infinity maximum supply. Total supply 979, total supply 979 millions, circulation supply 958. On drop step the same circulation supply 958, but on coin gecko I don't know why circulation supply 891. So I made a round number 900 millions in circulation supply. All right, got it. So if we take a look potential targets for this token and look on um, coin market cap. The highest point of the market cap was around 7 billion 260 millions in October 2021. And the price that time was uh, around uh, $8.40.
here was the highest point by market cap. Now we got a 900 million uh, coins into circulation supply. We around 27 zone. Usually, like you can see on a history, usually 27 zone works like uh, support zone and accumulation zone for uh, big whales. Maybe, maybe this cycle, Tazos will not hit new high or new all-time high at all. So basically, let's count if we will see the correction to this historical FIB to 0 0.5, 38 low by FIB, so around $6.20, $6.20, the market cap have to be around 5 billion, five, around 600 million. More than real, more than real, if we compare the previous, with the previous cycles. So, all right, if we count, for example, $7.36, $7.50, for example, 6 billion, uh, 700 million. Anyway, less uh, than it was uh, in um, 2021. So let's say we can forming the new high, not a new all-time high, new high, and test 78 level by feet around 10 dollar 10 dollar 10 cents 9 billion market cap basically more than real to hit 9 billion market cap around here but not beat the previous all-time high and it's going to be the 78 level by fee that's why let's go back to weekly time frame and trying to take a look on indicator set what the whales do now with this coin basically here uh, we get accumulation accumulation and if i Understand right? Yes, we formed the huge divergency here. Uh, I already explained to you the whales needed timing. So here, uh, 99, so around one dollar. Big accumulation around one dollar in August 19. Accumulation here, biggest accumulation ever. And now we formed the divergency because on ADZ, like you can see, we formed the divergency. Of course, would be good to see one more drop like this one, sweep the low and going higher. It's gonna be one more confirmation. That's why now it's okay to accumulate because we now, by price, uh, we lower than the biggest accumulation ever on Tezos. Uh, it was in August 19. So this is based on ADZ. If we take a look on direction, the whales start aggressively accumulate from May 22 here once again at $1.90, $1.39, then uh, 71 and uh, 64. So the average entry can be around, uh, I don't know, maybe $1. So at $2 here, they will be 100% profit at this liquidity pool local. So this $2, three cents, these guys who accumulate at uh, $1.90, $1.40, 71 64 with average entry around one dollar even one dollar uh, 15 they will be in profit 100 percent so this is how it works and at zero level they will be already in a huge profit that's why the wells care about a size of initial deposit and the timing they need a timing to accumulate the build the good uh, entry average entry the same story, they can distribute step by step uh, and fix some profit. For example, they can fix here 50%, they can here fix 20%, uh, here they can fix uh, 30% and crash the market. That's why it, we can't know the logic and we can't know the plan of the whales, but we can just uh, build own strategy and trying to follow the steps of the wheels. Market mode, every single time, like you can see based on this matrix, on a weekly time frame, we analyze the weekly time frame for investment zone. Here, historical snapshot, we can take a look here. Uh, September 18, March 19. Here, depression zone, accumulation, pump. The same story, depression, depression, depression zone. So now it's not a right time to sell. Of course, we can drop a little bit more, lower, lower, even 40% can drop lower, but then we can see the move up like uh, previously. Maybe not so high, but at least it's gonna be uh, this zone, 61 or 38, this zone. So if you accumulate, for example, at 64, at $6, you can fix your profit. So it's just a matter of time. You know, base it on, uh, base it on uh, money power here. 
on a history. You can take a look. Jewel, money inflow, the blue lines, it's uh, the time when the uh, bigger money inflow into this coin investment. Here, money inflow, money inflow, MACD divergency, pump. Money inflow, pump. Money inflow, money inflow, money, money, MACD divergency. So this is the same story like here. One, two, MACD divergency. One, one, two, MACD divergency, pump. Now we're in the hope zone. Now it's not a right time to sell or so. Uh, based on the monthly time frame, even in the monthly, like you can see on a monthly, we're in depression zone. We came into the depression zone. And on a monthly here, uh, this was the biggest accumulation on the lowest point in December 2022. And here's a MACD that warranty in June 2023. That's why I use custom indicator set because I zoom out and take a look what the wells do now with some specific coin. And it's helped me a lot. Of course, uh, indicator is not a magic pill, but it's give you a lot of information. Uh, on a weekly time frame here, if you bought here, for example, or on um, um, March COVID dump, then you can sell, 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 and out of this coin. Now we got a, uh, from December 2021, we got a recommendation close position. Step by step, you can fix your profit. Here's that was the last point on a weekly time frame last candle uh, where the trade on indicator showed you close all your short position on uh, after two weeks we got a main signal to buy and uh, we made 100 gains so here we come back and sweep even the low of this uh, signal to buy in january 2023 but this signal still relevant you know we can we don't see any new signal to sell or so on a weekly. And based on take profit, like you know, every single time when we trade under formula price, this is the last line, it's a good time for accumulation. Here you can accumulate together with wells. Here, build the average price around $1. And now take profit line $1.74, uh, exit line $1.97, but we can sweep this high, $2.03 and test, even the close with a weak candle, this monthly gap test, uh, zero level, $2.51. So this is how it works. Time to out of this coin, gonna be when we will go out of exit line like previously. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Write please in a comment, what do you think about a Tazas price target for the next bull run? Do you believe in the new all-time high for this token? Or you have more conservative price targets. If you'd like to trade with my custom gear set, what I showed you in this video, just write me DM. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.